Fucking hell. Total War and Warhammer together. I'll tell you what, if this had come out after Shogun 2, I'd have been excited. If this had come out after like Medieval 2 Total War, I'd have come in my pants. Now, I'm just, I just feel so sad, basically. Um, hey there, sheepdoggers, and welcome to a little video where I bitch about shit, basically. So, uh, just to preface everything, I'm gonna, I've already pre-ordered, uh, Total War Warhammer. I'm gonna play it. I expect it will be a shitty release. You know, in the sense that Rome 2 was a shitty release. Uh, I expect problems with it, and I imagine I'll be pissed off with it, and I'll be let down by it. Uh, but that's not the reason I'm getting it. At the end of the day, a lot of you guys like uh, the Games Workshop settings. I play a lot of games that are popular on my channel, and, uh, you know, I mean, I kind of have to. It's Warhammer, you know? Uh, with that said, I'm basically going to tell you why none of you should pre-order it. So I'm a fucking hypocrite to start out with, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. I'm a hypocrite. I pre-ordered it. I'm going to play it when it comes out. And I'll be doing videos for you guys. Basically. I'll probably stream it as well. But. What I'm going to talk about now. Is why you shouldn't pre-order it. And why it's probably going to be fairly crap. Or at least a letdown. Alright let's go. Alright so first. Uh, there's a pre-order faction. Again. Like. I mean fuck. Is this just something that they can't help themselves with? Like, I mean, we all know about that already. Like, at the end of the day, it's been a massive fucking thing. And, you know, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, but, like, regardless of whatever excuse you give for the fact, you know, like, oh, yeah, uh, it, it actually is going to be extra work or we haven't started on them yet. We, we might get them finished by release. You know, blah, blah, blah. You can give whatever fucking excuse you want for releasing the the Chaos uh, faction as an extra, like an extra pre-order bonus or whatever. At the end of the day, you're still doing the same fucking thing you did for Rome 2. And look how Rome 2 turned out. Like, there's no way you could be surprised that a community would react the way they do. You know, react in a negative light when you do the exact same thing you do with Rome 2. All right. So that's that's a pre-order faction. I'm not going to talk on that because people have talked on that shit a lot. That's just my thoughts on it. At the end of the day, that was the first thing that made me go, well, fucking Total War Warhammer is going to be shit. All right, but check this out. Okay, so it's getting closer to release. You know, it's still a ways off, but it's getting closer to release. And I've I've be, I've done a little bit of looking around. Like I haven't looked that too far into it, but I've doing, been doing a lot of looking around. And the similarities to Rome 2 are disturbing. And let's face it, right? Rome 2 was a fucking release disaster. And it was a mediocre game at best. Like, it was so simplified. The, the strategy aspect of it was fucking toddlers and diapers levels of strategy. Uh, the battle maps, you know, the battle strategy on the, on the battle maps were pretty much... You know, gather all your troops, have a fucking scrum, and then whoever has the most troops wins, or whoever, whoever has the better troops wins. There was fuck all real tactics in it. And, uh, in... And, you know, the that that's, that's just how Rome 2 was. Now, I'm not saying that's how this game's gonna be, but there's some real worrying similarities between the lead-up to release of Warhammer... Uh, Total War Warhammer and Total War Rome 2. Now, have you seen that uh, battle trailer where, where they show you the green skins versus the Empire? Yeah? Do you remember the other trailer for Rome 2? Where they show where, where it, lo it looks so awesome and everyone went fucking nuts over it. They were like, that looks so good. And then it turns out that it wasn't in, it wasn't, you know, the same kind of it was basically a fucking misre misrepresentation, right? I mean, you know, at the, at the end of the day, they've done the same things again. You know, they've they've made this really cool-looking trailer for the game, you know, promoting the game, like they did for Rome 2. But 
there's no proof that that's how the game runs. That that's how the game looks. Like at the end of the day, they did you know they did the exact same same thing for Rome Two, and when it came out, it was fucking bollocks. It was unplayable for most people, and for those people who could play it, it looked like absolute fucking ass. Added on to the fact that you know at the end of the day, there was uh, there was you know pretty much no strategic depth in it. The AI was as well, pretty much shitter than it has been before. So, you know, uh, like, I'm not saying that it's going to be that bad, but if we take past record as an example, why would you pre-order this game? Uh, that being said, I've had a look around at a few websites that have done, like, you know, pseudo review previews for it, and all of them are like, oh, yeah, we, you know, we saw a demo of it. It was a hands-off demo. It looks really cool. But it's a hands-off demo. It's like... Uh, you haven't played it then, mate. You, you, can't, you can't say more than anyone else what it's going to be like. Because at the end of the day, they're just showing you the same shit that they showed everyone else. Like, you know, I can't, I can't say it's going to be good. I can't say it's going to be shit. Because all they've shown us is stuff that they've pre built you know like don't get me wrong looking at looking around the campaign maps with those videos like where it's like oh check this out this is this is not campaign in progress and blah 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 y y you know it looks cool don't get me wrong but it might not be real because they've already lied before they already lied with Rome 2 showing us all that shit that turned out to be fake basically like at the end of the day that's what it was they knew that the game wasn't ready to be released and they released it anyway and then we all had a shit game yay and back then we didn't have steam refund so they made a fuck ton of money out of a game they lied about and there you go awesome yeah brilliant right so hands off demo that's what everyone's seen no one's got hands on yet as far as i know like i haven't been able to find one and I spent a good hour or so searching around looking for, you know, reading through different reviews of people saying, oh yeah, it looks really good, but we didn't play it. Great. Wonderful. Let me know how that, uh, yeah. I'll, 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 look, I'll look right forward to that then, shall I? Okay, so another thing. I don't know whether it's good. I don't know whether it's bad. But apparently they've got this kind of regional occupation thing whereby... Um, you can take over some places, but you can't take over other places because of law and stuff like that. So it's 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 total war, but it's it's not like it's not like it was before, where you can take over any city you want, and you know the factions play differently, and and all those kind of things. Uh, you've you've got kind of um, I think, for example, as the orcs, your objective is, or one of at least one of your short term objectives is to take over the dwarves. And when you do that, you're done. So, uh, you know, it might be good. Like, at the end of the day, you don't get me wrong, it really might be good. But it's a, it's a slight divergence. And it feels like this game's going to be a bit more story-based. So they've got a campaign with a story, and you kind of need to follow the story to to play it. Like, this, this is all uninformed. This is... Like, because there's a lot of things I haven't been able to find out about the black, the game. So, I'm just taking an educated guess here. Don't, don't, you know, don't take this for fucking gospel or anything. But yeah, it, it's, it sounds like that could be an issue. Um, I read that there was going to be no, no mod support. And people were saying stuff about that being Games Workshop being dicks. And let's face it, I love Games Workshop because I, I love Warhammer and all that. But they can be dicks. So I could believe that. I don't know. You know, at the end of the day, mods are very in integral to mods are very integral to uh, to the Total War series because most of the time, people fix the problems with the game through mods. Like, let's let's not joke about here. Let's be completely fucking serious. I was told to go back and play Rome Two because now it was playable because mods had come out to fix it. I'm not even joking. Like, like a, f a fair few people said to me, "Mate, like, you know, you you hate you hate Rome 2 Total War, right? Well, it's fine now. It's good now, 
because mod because there are mods that fix it. I'm like, no, no, it's not fixed. They fucking cre Creative Assembly, Sega, whoever, motherfuckers, they didn't fix it. Random people who do things as a hobby, who do things for fun, have fucking fixed the game. That's not acceptable. You know, if you pay if you pay someone for a car, and it doesn't work. <coughs> excuse me. If you play someone for a car, and it doesn't work, you know, you can't, you, you drive it somewhere and it catches on fucking fire. If some random dude on the street comes up and goes, Oi mate, I can fix that. No problem, no charge. You know, kiss that dude's fucking feet. But don't, don't give any, like, don't give any, like, props to the guys who gave you the goddamn car. Because they did a shit job on it. Basically. So, not having mod support, it's a little worrying. Like, hopefully there'll be people out there who can fix this game if it turns tits up like all the others, recently anyway. I mean, as much as I love uh, Shogun 2, there's still massive problems with it. It's still a bit of a fucking scrum, you know. End of the day, it's, it's not bad, but it could have been a lot fucking better, let's face it. And, uh, yeah, the other thing... Who else thinks there's, who else thinks there's going to be a fuck ton of DLC? Like at the end of the day, the amount of money the Total War team have got from DLC should be enough to produce a decent fucking game. You know, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not the kind of person who's like, no DLC ever. Like DLC is evil. Yeah, DLC is a bit of a fucking pain, but we've always had DLC because they used to be expansion packs. Now, don't get me wrong, expansion packs used to be proper, you know, most of the time at least. So, you know, like, uh, you'd, you'd get a game and then you'd get an expansion pack, which was, you know, like, half of another game, you know. It wouldn't be enough to make a full game, but it's enough to add a whole load of content. Now, you've got fucking five units for two pounds. And people are like, well, that's not much money. It's like, yeah, but it's five fucking units. Jesus, I mean... Are you kidding me? So, when it comes to DLC, I'm not on either side right now, you know. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It really is dependent on what people do. But at the end of the day, if you give me a shit game repeatedly, if you lie to me and release a shit game that you present as good and then do a shit job of fixing it so that other people fix it for you and then you charge me fucking five pounds for Blood and Gore pack, which honestly should be in a Warhammer game anyway, because it's fucking Warhammer. If it doesn't have Blood and Gore, then I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Fuck you, basically. You don't you don't deserve my goddamn money. But at the end of the day, as I said before, I've pre-ordered it, and I mean, why have I pre-ordered it? Well, I've pre-ordered it because fucking. I have to, you know? It's Warhammer. And it's 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 a Warhammer strategy game that I've always wanted. It's just a fucking shame that it's done by Total War. Because fuck them, basically. Like no offense to people who like Total War, at the end of the day, I applaud you for managing to stand behind a bunch of fucking dickheads who fuck things up so royally it's unbelievable. But no, not me. I'll play it, I'll feature it for you guys so you know whether it's good or not, and I'll be honest, like, if I enjoy it, I ain't gonna go, oh, fuck, I was wrong, I better lie and say it's shit. No, I'll be honest and say it's good. But I don't trust those bastards. Not at all. I'm gonna be real fucking cagey about this shit until it's been proven to be good, because, you know, at the end of the day, they've taken a lot of our fucking money over the years, and things have only got worse. How does that happen? The game gets more popular, but gets worse? No. The game gets more popular, makes more money, gets worse, and then they charge us more money for DLC. How much DLC did you see in fucking uh, Empire? Uh, well, Empire, but how much DLC did you see in Medieval 2? Not that much. Really, not that much. Compared to... Go and, go and look at the DLC. Oh, and let, let's not even fucking talk about goddamn Empire, uh, Caesar in Gaul, that goddamn expansion for Rome 2. I bought that piece of shit, because I was like, oh, 
they claim that they fixed stuff and they made things better. And no, no, they didn't. It was bollocks. It was boring as fuck. They didn't do anything to improve the barbarian nations, which they said they were going to look at properly this time. End of the day, the barbarian nations are just as fucking boring as they always were. You know, I started I started off as the Swebby. Jesus, like, it was just as bad as it was in the original Rome. They didn't take a proper look at them at all. Fuck. So, yeah, there you go. Like, basically, all I'm saying is, don't go pre-order uh, Warhammer, Total War, Total War, Warhammer. Don't. Like, you know, yeah, I know, they're fucking holding the Chaos Faction at hostage at the moment. But, at the end of the day, it's, it's just... <sighs> I don't know, you know, it, it just don't trust them. I'm going to get the game, I'm going to play it, I'll feature it as soon as it comes out on my channel, and I'll tell you whether it's good or not. Like, you can believe me or not, at the end of the day, I'll give you my honest opinion. You know, if you, do, if you don't trust me, then fair play, go get the game, good luck to you. But I just don't think we should allow these guys, like, yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't have any trust for them. So, you know, it's it's completely possible that there'll just be a whole load of people getting a refund once the game's come out because it's shit. Which is possibly the only thing that will keep them honest, to be, to be honest. So anyway, yeah, like, th this is just a whole load of vaguely worrying things that I've noticed on the lead up to Warhammer Total War. And I just wanted to basically say, like, put a video out and go like, yeah, I'm going to play it. Uh, I I don't I don't really I don't I don't trust it to be good. I hope I hope it will be good. But I don't trust it to be good. I just wanted to do a little bit of a rant and say, you know, like Total War people people who work on Total War. Oi, you. I I don't trust you. If if you announce fucking blood and gore packs and like unit DLCs and shit like that, like th this is what I'm a mate. This is fucking Warhammer. If you announce that shit, we're done. Like, seriously. You and me, we're done. And you will be up there with Ubisoft as hated, right? Like, I don't like you because you lied to me and shit. And Rome 2 was a fucking disappointment. Okay? But, seriously. You fuck this up and we're done. Not happy, okay? Yeah. So, there you go, guys. Like, that, I, 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 just, I, just, I just wanted to have a little... A, 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 li a little touch on that because because I've, I've i felt it was kind of important to say so you know be be cautious like you know i ain't even gonna say don't pre-order because we've got like refunds and shit i assume the refunds are still working and everything so you know it might be a safer bet to pre-order nowadays but i'm saying like be careful yeah because you don't want to be stuck with another shitty game and also if it's a letdown like me you'll probably be very very let down because you love Warhammer, or Games Workshop, or like that, that kind of saying in games. So just be careful. I've really started to lose my voice now. Uh, so yeah, anyway, there you go guys. That's me bitching. And yeah, I ain't going to tell you not to pre-order it. But just be careful with this fucking series. Uh, be careful with this game. Because they're lying bastards so far. Like that's all they proved to us. So. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the rant. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be doing Warhammer when it comes out. Because apparently I'm a fucking idiot myself too. And I'll see you in the next one.